Now friends, uh, let's take up the next set of questions. Here, number of people taking fresh loans from different banks over the year and the percentage of defaulters amongst them each year. Here we are given two tables, that is the table of loans as well as the table of defaulters. Uh, friends, uh, both the tables will not come in a single screen, so I just be scrolling the screen, so do not get confused, right? So here this is the one table in which bank P, Q, R, S, T, in the various years the loans were given, right? And in this table, this table is not complete, I just have to scroll it. So this in this table, the default percentage of defaulters are given, right? So let's take up a question one by one. Now the first question is, approximately how many people taking a loan from bank S in the year 2006 were defaulters, right? So we have to find out the data of 2006 of bank S, right? So bank S in 2006, the total number of people are 29565, right? And the number of defaulters in 2006 were 21%, right? So we have to find out the 21% of this, okay? So you just have to simply multiply it and get the answer, right? A bit help of distributive property of multiplication can be taken, right? Now, how do we do that? It's 2, 9, 5, 6, 5 into 20 by 100 plus 2, 9, 5, 6, 5 into 1 by 100. Okay, so if 29565 into 1 by 100 will be there, it will be 295 only, right? So now, just divide this data. So it's 5913 plus 295 approximately. So it's around 5913 plus 295, just check up the options, it will be around 6210, right? No need to like calculate fully because it's around 6000 and it is around 300, bit less than 300. So the calculation will be around 6210, right? Because it is 80 less than 6000 and it is 5 less than 300. So it's around 6210, okay? So bit help of distributive property can be taken, right? Now the next question is, Approximately, what was the difference between the number of defaulters of bank Q in the year 2004 and 5? So, first of all, let's uh, find the total number of uh, persons who have taken lo loan from bank Q in year 2004 and 5. So, in 2004, it's 26345. I just write it over here. It's 26345, right? I just write the percentage afterwards and then just have to put up minus sign and year 2005 it will be 27456, right? Now Defaulters in the year of 2004, this is bank P and Q, this is 9 by 10, that is, uh, I'm sorry, just a moment, yeah, it's 9 by, uh, sorry, it's 9 percent only, so it's 9 by 100 and it is 27456, that is in year 2005 will be 8 percent, right? Now you have to make this calculation, still the options are closer to each other, so manually you have to do. Alternatively, I can suggest you to uh, use distributive property in this case also. So your, in fact, multiplication division problem will be converted to addition and subtraction, right? So how do we do that? Is 2, 6, 3, 4, 5 into 2, 9, I'm just writing down is as 10 minus 1. So it's 2, 6, 3, 4, 5. 5, 0, that is into 10, minus 1, minus 1, that is 2, 6, 3, 4, 5. Now, in both the cases, we are dividing it by 100, so it's 
a point over here and in this case the point is over here right similarly minus it's into 2 it's 10 minus 2 so 27456 into 10 so it's 274560 then further minus 2 that is it's, it's 8 is 10 minus 2 so I have to multiply this number into uh, by 2 right so and here minus sign is before the bracket so the other calculation will be in positive right so I just multiply this number by 2 so it's 2 6 are 12, 2 5 are 10 and 1 11, 2 4 are 8 and 1 9, 2 7 are 14, 2 2 are 4 and 1 5. Now both the calculations are being divided by 100 so I put a decimal over here and over here. Now friends we have to do this calculation right uh, here we have converted the entire multiplication and division into addition and subtraction right. So uh, do not copy this data once again uh, anywhere else just go for addition and subtraction horizontally simultaneously right now you can skip the data after decimal because our options are quite far from each other that is they are giving the difference of 20 30 something like that so even if we calculate the data after decimal the difference will be one or two not more than that so we can skip them right so I just change the uh, color of the pen for better clarity wait a moment now first of all I just cancel the data after decimal right okay now it's 4 you just start uh, cancelling so you will uh, not be like a, there will not be a visible confusion so it's 4 minus 3 uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 1 minus 5 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 9 is 5 right then this is 3 minus 6 is minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3 we cannot write minus 3 so we have to borrow uh, one from the next number so it's 10 minus 3 that is 7 right now we have borrowed 1 so instead of 6 this data will be 5 right so it's 5 minus 2 is 3 and 3 minus 7 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 5 is 1 right no need to go further around idea we have got the answer that is 175 so this way you can at least save some of your time right so I hope this method is clear to you now let's see this question in which of the following years was the number of defaulters of bank are the maximum among the given years right now there are 2005 6 7 and 10 right first of all let's uh, see defaulters of bank are in this these years right so in 2005 for bank R, this is 32461, right? So I just write it over here. 32461. First of all, I just note down the data, then I'll just find out the percentage. In 2006, it was 32652. In 2007, it was 32561, and in 2010, it is 28283. Now, let's find out the percentage. It's 32461 and in 2005 the percentage was 17%, right? So it's 17%. Since we have to calculate percentage in all the options, so I'm not writing it divided by 100. Just let's multiply the figures and get the answer. Then in the 2006, 
it's 16 percent then in 2007 it's 18 percent then in 2010 it is 12 percent right now friends uh, we have to find out the biggest figure or the largest figure among these right so we can eliminate this 28283 into 12 because uh, other figures are in the both the figures like two from 28283 and from 12 we are having bigger figures than uh, than both of them so it's cancelled then 32461 we have 32561 over here and this is 17 and this is 18 so definitely it is not the biggest so just cancel it now we have 32652 into th uh, and uh, into 16 and 32561 into 18 now we have to compare between these two because in this case this figure is greater and in this case this figure is greater so we cannot uh, come to a conclusion that which will be the higher right so either you just actual multiply them or get the answer alternatively what you can do just get some around idea right now how do we do that just listen to me carefully now i'm comparing between these two what i do it's 32652 and it is 32561 the difference between these two is around 90 so what i do is i convert this 32652 into 32561 into plus 90 right so it's 32561 into 16 plus 90 into 16 i'm just getting an around idea see what i'm doing is i'm taking the just uh, giving this 32561 as common so we can directly make a comparison right and similarly this is 32561 into 16 plus 32561 into 2 right now this data is this and this data is this now 32561 into 16 it will be cancelled now we have to make the comparison between these two so which one is greater that we have to find out so 90 into 16 is quite smaller because if it is 100 instead of 90 if it is 100 then also it will be 1600 only and this figure is going up to 64,000 right so definitely this figure is much greater than this that means finally this will be the bigger right from these two so already two options we eliminated and the, from the remaining two options this one is bigger so finally this one is bigger so 2007 is the correct choice in uh, the 2007 is the year when the number of defaulters of bank are were maximum okay so i hope you are clear instead of multiplying them i split them i split this number corresponding to this number okay so i hope you are clear